Hello students. So let's go on with the next module of transformation of sentences. And with that, we go on to the next type that is using no sooner dot dot than. Now where do we use such a sentence? This structure is used when there are two actions following one another. Meaning one action just gets over and the other one starts. Now this could be indicated with when or we could also have as soon as. Both can be converted into no sooner dot dot than. So let us see this with an example. When he had eaten, he slept. So the first thing that we do is identify the two actions. Here we have had eaten as the first action and slept as the second action. So in such a case, you can use no sooner dot dot that. Of course, the instruction will be given to you students. Now, let's see how to transform the sentence using no sooner dot dot that. And let us follow these very simple steps. Now, the first thing, identify the two actions. He had eaten and he slept. Very important to do that, students. Why? We'll see that in a short while. Next, start the sentence with no sooner. So immediately you start the sentence with no sooner. Your answer starts with no sooner. Now, interchange or swap the subject and the auxiliary verb of the sentence given to you. Which one is that? Look at here, this one. He is the subject and we know had is the auxiliary verb. Remember students, auxiliary verb is helping verb which comes before the main verb. So here we have had eaten, eaten is the main verb and had is the auxiliary verb. What is our step there? It says swap the two. Interchange the position of the two. So instead of he had, it will become had he. Very simple students. Start with no sooner. Swap the position of subject and auxiliary. Next, the main verb will remain as it is. The position of the main verb is written in the same way. For example, wherever eaten is there, eaten will come as it is. This is the main verb. So it will come as it is. Next, the comma changes to than. Remember the than there students? So that comma changes to than. And the second action, very simple. The second action remains as it is. You don't have to make any changes in the second action. So all the changes take place before the comma. Of course, even the comma changes to that. After the comma, everything is written as it is. That is how simple it is, students. Let's take one more sentence. There we had when, now we have as soon as. So as soon as he will eat, he will sleep. Let us see this example. First step, remember, identify the two actions. He will eat and he will sleep. Why, students? Remember, all the changes take place in the first one. Second one remains as it is. Next, now what do we do? Start the sentence with no sooner. Then, interchange or swap the subject and the auxiliary verb. Quickly identify, he is the subject, will is the auxiliary verb. And eat, of course, is the main verb. So now what will it become? It will become will he. Instead of he will, it gets swapped and it becomes will he. So no sooner will he. And then we said that the position of the main verb, generally the verb showing the action remains the same. So eat will remain as eat. Then the comma becomes than. Very simple students, the comma becomes than and the second action will remain as it is.